Hi guys, let's now learn Ambar Saria. So in this song, uh, it's very groove oriented, and the whole groove pattern is something which um, I mean, which is really catchy. So I'll just play you the groove and try to listen to it and get a feel of it. So another groove which goes okay and there are lots of these um, what I call flamenco sections where you take a chord and the reason why this is all happening is because we are trying to play a guitar song on the piano it's very much a guitar song uh, but again, this is for all of you pianists who really love the song and want to figure out a way to play it because you can't play the guitar. Okay, so on the guitar, what he's doing is he's doing tank, 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 tank. So you need to first get that rhythm into your system. And then it's just a matter of chords, right? It'll have the same chords as any other song on a given scale. So you go tank, tank. Tank, 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 tank. So what I do on the piano is. So you do do the first chord twice, and do the second chord thrice. So you do one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. And if you're a little bit more uh, intermediate on the piano, you can try to play the pulse here and play that cool rhythm in the right hand. So just the right hand. And whenever you're doing the three, sustain the last of the three that's also what they do really well on the uh, on the guitar you could play that co comp on the, the same way on the piano left hand the pulse the groove so now you can probably feel the drummer grooving in the song right <clears throat> so most of the song is going to be on that and different chords and the chords are there on your right hand side in the video you can see the different sections there's as always in a lot of the bollywood songs and the indian film songs there'll always be two unique verses uh, some sung by male and female voice um, in this case i think it's just a female singer throughout uh, but nevertheless there's always going to be an extra verse you have to learn Verse 1 will be with a different set of chords. Verse 2 will again be with a different set of chords and maybe even a different rhythm. However, in this song, the rhythm is very consistent. It's tank, 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 tank. So the way I would count it, if you want to do it more specifically, would be to count uh, 16th notes or to count 8th notes. If you're counting 8th notes, one and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three it's tough for me to count it and clap but you get the idea you can either count with eighth notes or with sixteenth notes one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e something like that. i think counting sixteen notes would be easier one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a Right, so that's a very what we call well, a very groovy uh, rhythm, uh, and we also say it's very syncopated because none of the beats are actually on the main beat. If it was on the main beat, it'll be right, just like 
really sleepy. So <coughs> so I would recommend that you guys watch another lesson of mine where I've broken down a very popular ARMAN song, U Urvasi. And um, we've de dealt with a lot of these 16th note phrasings and how to count them. So once you watch that video, I think you'll get a better perspective, right? Um, there's, I've of course taught it on the bass guitar, but I don't think it'll make a big, big difference to understand the concept. So tank, 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 right? So now I'm going to do it <coughs> with the singing, and we'll try and do verse one, going to the pre-chorus. And we won't do the chorus and then I'll break down the chords and call it out as Naveen is singing. <coughs> First of all, the intro is E minor, D major, A minor and B minor. I repeat, E minor, D major, A minor, B minor. And then we do like a, a, a glide. So you take the B seventh chord, which is... B, D sharp, F sharp and then a 7th would be with the flattened root that is A flat by 2 basically B, B flat, A so once you end the section and then the singer starts singing right so let's try and do the uh, verse 1 please Naveen Come back to the the chorus. We were like uh, wanting, itching to play it, but uh, we have to also teach you. So in the verse, you have E minor, D major, A minor, B minor. And just watch. There are some cases where he plays B minor, and some cases where he plays B major. I think a better way to look at it is B majors before the chorus, and B minors during the verse. So verse chords. Verse 1 rather would be A minor, B minor. Okay, can we just do this with Naveen, please? 1, 2, 3. D. A minor, B minor, E minor, D major. Okay, and then in the pre chorus, he basically goes G major 7th. So it's G major with a major 7 so a lot of the uh, Bollywood songs I found have this these extensions which make it very interesting to listen it's not like your normal G major which most guitar players play he plays a major 7th extension so if you can play that great otherwise you can just cap it off by playing G major so <coughs> D major When you end it, I've marked a purple thing there where you go. You do that uh, flamenco thing. Just a glide. So this is your chord. So instead of doing a boring hold, hold, you can try and do. So just play it one by one, but then really fast. Now on a guitar, it's second second nature on the guitar because it's six strings and anyway you play the guitar like that, right? So inevitably you just have to make that process slow and you get that effect. On the piano, you have to physically play the notes. So it's a nice technique to, to develop. You can play a lot of this Latin and Spanish stuff as well. Okay, so... 
we'll do the verse and then the pre-chorus and I'll call out the chords as we're singing it. A one, a two, a three. <laughs> So the chorus is of course almost the same chords as you played in the verse but instead of the B minor at the end you do a B major. So that's going to be E minor, D major, A minor and B. And that last B you can play a B seventh. So B seventh is nothing but a B major with a flat seven on the top. So uh, this makes it D major right? And then you add the seventh which is nothing but a flat 7 from your root. Okay, so let's now do the chorus, which is four times of E minor, E minor, D major, A minor, B7. Just think of the two chords at a time, which will make up one bar. E, D, A minor, B7, E, D, and remember the 2-3 trick. E, D, 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 A, B, B, E, and so on. Let's go. A one and two, three. sang the normal chorus it for four times it was um, B A minor B7 D major so that happens four times when he ends the chorus he continues singing the line but we change the chords so we change the chords actually to give the listener the hint of the interlude chords which are I think all played on the harmonium there are two amazing interludes which I don't think I'll have the time to uh, tell you maybe I'll transcribe it and share that as well in another video if you're interested so you go basically so the last two Ambar Sarias at the end of the uh, four times we are going to change the chords to E minor G seventh, G major seventh, D major seventh, and B major. Okay, can we just do the? So this is what you could call as the post chorus, or the two bars before, uh, after the chorus, after which the tune is going to go. that happens on the harmonium sound right one let's just do the we'll do the whole chorus so for four times it's going to be e minor d major a minor and b7 for the last two times it's going to be e minor g major seventh d major seventh and b major so it's quite an interesting song it's quite tricky come on chorus one two go um, but it's like comes and then verse 2 as always in a Bollywood song your verse 2 is going to be something very very different his melody is going to change completely and it's also quite an interesting melody it's it's a little dissonant it uses some of the dissonant intervals but I guess that's what has uh, gives it its charm okay 
Let's do the verse 2. I'm going to play it on the piano first. Try to follow along. This is verse 2, which is written as V2. Okay. And as always, there is a Google Drive file which you can download. And um, you can see all the chords which I'm talking about as I'm... You can probably have that with you while you're learning this lesson. Sure. Let's now do the verse 2, Naveen. One, two, three, go. Okay, so that happens basically twice and then we we stop that. So no that's G going to D and then G again then C sharp minor and D major 7th okay let's first do the sec the first half of verse 2 3 go G D major 7th G C sharp minor D Again. Now we do a little pause. Right, so we'll come back to that uh, uh, shortly. So once you finish G, D, G, C sharp minor, D. Once that's done twice, you end it again with your flamenco stop. That's quite nice. B sus4 going to B major. For those of you who don't know a suspended chord, it's the major chord with a sus4. That means you move the third up to a suspended four. Right? And it's a very, very cool chord. I've also done a video of this, another video on YouTube called Creative Suspended Chords. Uh, we'll try to put a link in the description. Go through that. So, whenever we stop the verse 2, it goes to this na, na, B sus4, B major. Okay, we'll just do that once more, please. 3, go. One more time. The second half of verse 2 is as follows. E minor, D major, A minor, B minor. Again, E minor, D major, A minor, B minor. Then you go to G major 7th, F sharp minor, B major. And so on and so forth. Right? So let's just do the whole verse 2. It's quite a complicated verse, so please follow the chords and follow me playing. I'll try to count it and perhaps we'll do it slightly slower, uh, Naveen. A one, two, three, go. D. G. C sharp minor, D major.
happened mm. there that was a really cool post chorus 2 so post chorus 1 we did different chords which i showed you post chorus 2 there's some really interesting chords very very jazzy actually so he sings pretty much the same thing right yeah. and um, the chords just uh, incredibly change and right after that is over it goes back to the verse and then the chorus repeats so i'm just going to conclude by just dealing with this section uh, i know it's been a while in this lesson but please stick with us because this is a long song or at least there are lots of parts in this song which need to be talked about okay so let's just do um the chorus 2 going into the post chorus 1 2 3 A minor, B seventh, E minor, B, A minor, B seventh, D, E minor, A, B. Post chorus, E minor. back to that okay. right so all this stuff goes on and uh, so post chorus 2 i am playing e minor a minor a minor d major g so e minor a minor d major g major then c this is a very very cool chord that's f sharp minor 7 flat 5 that's what it's called right So how do you play an F sharp minor seven flat five? You basically take an F sharp minor, flat the five, then take a minor seventh and play that with it. And an F sharp minor seven uh, flat five will then go to A minor, B major. So let's just do that whole pre-chorus: E minor, A minor, D major. G major seventh, C major, F sharp uh, 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 minor seven flat five, A minor, B major. So that's a very interesting chord progression. Every chord is quite unique, and um, it, it's it, it's it, it's it's a very interesting motion. I I've written down F sharp minor seventh in the note sheet as a phi, the Greek symbol phi. You may have. learned at some point i guess not but uh, phi is something like that you can find it in the note sheet uh, so try to follow that chord and try to learn something out of the song first of all when i started i talked about the cool rhythm uh, which is a 16 note rhythm watch my other lessons which are in the description you learn a lot more about the rhythm patterns i spoke about uh, then you have different sections verse chorus the whole songs on e minor it's quite an ex- exciting song so all the best trying to learn it and um, if you have any doubts or any questions leave a comment and we'll try and sort you out cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers